Good evening from a rainy South Florida here. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals and Concierboyune.com in lovely Lauderdale by the sea. Got the uh, live John Pennekamp video up here again, underwater cam. And uh, boy, the water clarity is really nice out there today. Uh, but the weather here is not so nice here and I'm not sure what it's like in your area, but rainy all day, heavy rains here uh, all day long. All right, well, let's get into uh, the quota. Ooh, look at that. A Carvalli Jack just swam right by. Big one, too. Well, actually, I can't tell how big they are, but they do get quite large in size, the Carvallis. All right, you see how short my attention span is here. <laughs> Let's move into uh, uh, today's quote. Uh, and this is by Ted Butler's most recent newsletter. Great uh, uh, source of information on the silver markets and how these, monarch how these markets are manipulated by who, how, uh, and, and the players uh, in the uh, casino in which they do it at, which is the Crimex markets. Uh, but most recent newsletter put out by Ted Butler, and I'm sure I can share this with you. I don't think he would mind. In fact, I'm sure he'd like this to get out even more. Uh, this may sound delusional, but I can't help but be encouraged about the extreme egregious smackdown in price over the past week. Uh, of course, we've all watched that here for the past week. Uh, no doubt there is much pain in melting account values uh, but unless someone is on margin call and can't meet margin calls, a practice long condemned uh, by Ted Butler, uh, this too shall pass. Uh, the most, rem oops, sorry about that. Let me just drop that down a little bit. The most remarkable thing is like the buildup of scar tissue, um, the increasingly obvious manipulative price smashes have stopped inducing fear and a vast majority of the silver investors have created an even stronger intuitive knowledge and conviction that the only thing wrong in silver is the crooked price setting on the crooked COMEX. Um, and that's a very powerful statement just right here by itself. And let me see, for some reason now I can't highlight it. Uh, but as Ted Butler points out right here, um, <clears throat> uh, where does it start right here? I created an even, uh, here we go. The most remarkable thing is like the buildup of scar tissue, and, and I've talked about this uh, quite frequently for decades now. Silver investors have felt like uh, uh, a red-headed, battered red-headed stepchild, uh, and forgive me, uh, all you red-headed stepchildren out there. Uh, the most remarkable thing, as he says here, again, I'm going to repeat this because it's very powerful, is like the buildup of scar tissue, the increasingly obvious manipulative price smashes have stopped inducing fear and a vast majority of silver investors and have created an even stronger intuitive knowledge and conviction that the only thing wrong in silver, again, the only thing wrong with silver is the crooked price, set on a crooked COMEX market. Uh, that's Ted Butler's quote right there, and uh, uh, very, very much true, folks. The market is indeed rigged. Uh, market, all markets are probably indeed rigged. I wrote uh, uh, Derek Sandman, I think, I think his name is. He's one of the CEOs at the COMEX group. I sent, uh, sent off another uh, email to him, uh, uh, you know, talking about his rigged markets and are they ever going to do anything about it. It gets nowhere. I don't get any kind of return emails. I got a couple return emails at first, but uh, not anymore. But uh, uh, I, I questioned him. I said, listen, if the silver market is this rigged, uh, in your in your CME group, and, and the gold market's rigged like this, not to the same degree as silver is. Uh, what about the other markets? Uh, I mean, I got to start believing that all your other markets at the CME group, uh, derivatives group, are, are rigged as well. Uh, but uh, of course, folks, I guess I'd be naive to think that that the all markets are not rigged. I believe all markets are probably rigged to some degree, varying degrees. Silver just being excessively, hugely rigged. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, and then again, Ted Butler points that out of all the commodities in the uh, uh, CME group, uh, uh, silver is probably the single most manipulated out of all the, uh, uh, and not just because it's, it's our particular market, uh, it's because they're able to trade more silver than is even exist out there, if that makes sense to you to some degree. There's a simplification of it. That's how it's hugely just made of derivatives and paper bullshit. Uh, and it's just used uh, by the commercials to drive the markets down. And again, if this happens in the silver markets, I'm sure to some degree it happens in all the other markets out there. The markets are rigged. There is no Santa Claus. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, uh, but of course, if you don't play, you can't win. So what are you going to do? Not play. And the beauty of having rigged markets and know how they're being rigged, and Ted Butler talks about that all the time, the beauty of knowing this, what Ted Butler knows uh, and, and what people that are talking about how these markets are rigged and, uh, and how to play it. You know, really, once you know how the game is rigged, uh, you all of a sudden became the top player at the table or one of the top players because you can stick it right up their high knees. 
uh, any of you gamblers out there that know this as well, any of you folks out there that do any kind of competitive sports know that once you know how the game is rigged, once you know how your competitors are playing their game, your game gets much easier to play and much easier to profit from. All right, I said it, that's it. Let's move into uh, uh, markets rig. We know that, getting tired of talking about it, but at some point it's going to, uh, uh, supply and demand factors as Ted Butler talks about and I believe are gonna uh, stick it up their fat asses, their fat crooked asses. Um, well anyway, U.S. core CPI surges to 40 year high food and shelter costs soar. Well, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> uh, it didn't take, uh, you know, <clears throat> the, the, the economist and the uh, media people, uh, uh, that it, it took them this long to figure that out. They had to look at the graphs to figure that out, right? They haven't been to a grocery store lately, have they, folks? Or, <laughs> or had to pay for rent or anything like that. I'm telling you, these people in D.C., these economic, uh, uh, so-called economic gurus, these people in the uh, uh, government, these people that... Uh, 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 work for the Treasury Department, the Fed, central bankers. They're all fucking clueless, man. They have no clue. Uh, <clears throat> this is news to them. Wow, wow. Oh, that stuff's getting expensive. Anyways, uh, it, literally, though, 40 year highs, folks. That's it's significant. Also, if you think this is right before the midterm elections, you can pretty much say that the uh, uh, Blue Party can kiss their asses goodbye for uh, uh, the uh, upcoming races. Uh, but then again, the alternative is not that much better, but still, uh, when you compare the blue and red parties right now and what the blue parties have done of most recent and how the blue parties have been hijacked so badly by these Marxist fucking morons uh, that their party is just in huge trouble. I think uh, Tulsi Gabbard is a good example of that, uh, who just left the party too. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> not going to go into that. Uh, this is talked about all day long. Uh, uh, by people all in all these different forms. Anyway, CPI surges to 40-year highs. And uh, <clears throat> what has that done? Well, it's pretty much ended Joe Biden, the Joe Biden bounce. <laughs> here's actually Joe Biden starting in office a little bit before 2020. Folks, I I'd show you the rest of the chart here, but it's probably right up here. Oh, man, that's like uh, one of the uh, craziest, uh, uh, most radical toboggan uh, uh, rides that I've ever seen downward. <laughs> Uh, but uh, look at that. Look at that slide, folks. Just slide, slide, slide. And what is this? This is the uh, consumer price index for urban consumers, purchasing power of the consumer dollar in the U.S. average city. And uh, take a look at that. We had a little bounce here. Again, we'll call this, we'll give Biden a little bounce here, but uh, there's this bounce. Goodbye bounce. We're heading south here again, folks. But again, we don't need graphs, fancy graphs. We don't need a bunch of overpaid economists and people in the Treasury Department or people in the government that, that are clueless what the real world has to go through, what working class people have to go through. We don't expect them uh, to understand that we knew this long before they did, stupid bastards. Anyway, <laughs> oh, clueless bastards, I should say. Well, let's take a look at the uh, uh, gold prices right here and uh, see what we got going on. Uh, market is closed right now all over the freaking place to, today. Let me show you the 1643 on a low on gold. Holy smokes, that is just nothing than, than pure paper shenanigans and the bullshit crime X markets, as is an 1850 silver price, as is an 1868 uh, platinum price. I'm not quite sure what's causing these gyrations in these middle markets, uh, but Ted Butler is clearly pointing that the commercials did step in and cap the price of silver and gold once again. Uh, but he believes that they uh, were compelled to do so uh, for whatever reason here. But uh, no less, folks, this is just uh, pure crim criminal manipulation in the uh, CME Group's uh, COMEX markets. You know, at some point, I think I should probably get some emails and uh, some phone numbers and maybe get all of you folks to start calling the CME Group, calling the CFTC, and start getting your voices heard again that this kind of bullshit's got to end. Uh, but it will end. Ted Butler, uh, uh, quite frankly, you know, puts it out. Uh, quite frankly, in a, in, a, in a term that makes it easy to understand that, you know, it's going to blow up in their faces. Supply and demand will ultimately screw them. And uh, what we're seeing in the silver market with uh, uh, available wholesale and, and retail silver markets is just insane. Silver is getting harder and harder to find, contrary to uh, uh, what these prices might suggest. Um, and, and again, think about this. And it, it, if these markets, if, if, if gold and silver and platinum were reacting to true true fundamentals and what we've been seeing with the inflation uh, moving upward and what we've been seeing with black swan events and all that stuff. If gold and silver and platinum were truly uh, not being manipulated 
uh, and they were working on true market fundamentals, these prices would be double and triple. Silver would be way fucking higher than it is right now, probably 100 bucks an ounce. Again, I'm just throwing a number out there, but double, triple, I don't think that's unreasonable at all. The same thing with platinum and gold. These prices would be way higher, and the reason they're not, again, crooked activity going on in this particular casino. Uh, and uh, again, what are they? They're just a big derivatives group. Take a look at this. They even say on the front page, what do we do? World's leading derivatives market. What is derivatives? Derivatives is the uh, smoke and mirrors, man. It's the dog and pony show. It's the, it's the here's your silver. Yeah, no, that's a piece of paper. No, that's silver, man. <laughs> uh, it's the bullshit, le world's leading uh, uh, bullshit marketplace, all right? That's probably the best way to describe the uh, CME group, group. World's leading bullshit marketplace, all right? Because uh, uh, if, if, that, if that marketplace was operating on honest fundamentals, and honesty and not uh, a manipulative collusive group of fucking commercial bankers prices would be again double and triple where they are right now uh and by the way you know what their name is cme group if you feel like uh, uh giving someone a hard time give them a call well, anyways <clears throat> not really give them a hard time always be polite you catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar uh, <clears throat> until the tarring and feathering begins <laughs> <So> <laughs> Uh, who's got tar? I got feathers. All right, let's uh, uh, move out of here. Folks, this is just uh, uh, bargain basement prices. These are fire sale prices. Uh, these crooks, uh, in their own greedy, manipulative way to manipulate these markets to for them to make a large amount of money, has also given, you know, again, you know how the market is rigged. Now you can play it the way they do. Why do they rig these markets lower like this? So they can buy more physical. That's exactly why they, they so they can buy more silver, so they can buy more gold, get someone into it, wash them out, buy more physical, get them into it again, wash it out, buy more physical. How do you think JP Morgan ended up with like some insane amount of physical gold and silver in there? Uh, even though, although they were basically uh, 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 stop trading in the uh, uh, COMEX group in 2017 because of the lawsuit and they're spoofing their $985 million fine for illegally spoofing and fucking with the gold and silver and platinum markets or the gold and silver markets. All right, they got caught. They got fined for it. And, and, and they still managed to accumulate millions and millions and millions and millions of ounces of uh, uh, gold and silver. Uh, <clears throat> So that's what's going on. So you know how the game is rigged. They're out there driving the prices down so they can gobble this shit up. You know what? Gobble it up even more because most of the time they, they're having a hard time finding the real stuff, folks. They're getting stuck with uh, uh, having to uh, uh, buy paper to offset the abil their, their inability to, uh, to buy real physical. And that's what's going on with SLV right now. Ted Butler talks about that. That the reason that uh, they've got this huge short position in SLV uh, that is kind of very manipulative in many ways is uh, because they're in, not able to uh, fund SLV with real silver. Very interesting stuff. Maybe you can uh, uh, Google that and uh, uh, see what Ted Butler's talking about. Or you can subscribe to his newsletter, which is completely worth it, uh, especially if you're doing a large amount of money in silver. You really need to know how these markets are rigged and how they do it. And nobody explains it better than Ted Butler, in my opinion. What's the best deals out there, folks? It's still kilo bars. Uh, 100 ounce bars are still kind of tough to get. Maybe, uh, oddly enough, I can sell kilo bars cheaper than I can sell 100 ounce bars, uh, pretty much. And uh, I got to check. Hang on a second. Let me look. Where did I put my. My little cheat sheet here. Let's take a look at the cheat sheet. <clears throat> uh, and kilos versus, well, actually about the same price. 100 ounce bars, uh, when, if, and where they are available, are about the same price as kilos right now. But uh, I do have a better price on kilos than most of, uh, uh, not most of them, uh, Atmex, JM, SD, and the uh, big online guys out there, including the people here in South Florida. And as you know, I advertise to beat Atmex, JM, and SD Bullion. They're great big companies, very respectable companies. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, as I say, if you're going to be competitive, who do you want to be competitive against? You want to be competitive against the big 800 pound gorillas like those guys, and they are. And I am. I will beat their prices. And as I said, as long as the, uh, uh, I'll also beat the local people's prices at Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals and ConcierbeBullion.com. So, uh, uh, kilo bars are the best deal out there right now. You should be able to pick them up for a spot plus four and a quarter or less. Um, and 100 ounce bars are probably going to be around that same thing, spot plus four dollars or less. Um, well, hang on. Yeah, yeah, I'd say spot plus four, four and a quarter on 100 ounce bars if they're available. Uh, once you get up into Silver Eagles, let me look what Silver Eagle premiums are. <whistles> Stay the hell away from Silver Eagles, man. Just look at those prices on those things. 
Um, I wouldn't sell them to you if you wanted them. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. You can buy whatever you want here, but I certainly try to talk, talk you out of them. Uh, premiums on silver eagles are just insane, folks. It's, uh, the premium is almost as much as the silver price itself. Think about that. Holy frickin' cripes. Premiums are $15 plus, even on the wholesale level, if you want to go out and buy silver eagles. Uh, and, so, uh, and that would be uh, sealed boxes. You know, 13 14 15 bucks is the wholesale asking price. Uh, and again, limited quantities out there on some of that stuff. So, you know, the premium is almost as much as the price of silver itself, folks. I don't know who the hell would buy that silver at those prices. They're, I'm telling you, they're not too smart. I don't care if it's a billionaire that, that's causing the uh, uh, prices of silver eagles to soar this much up. I mean, if it's a billionaire buying this thing, shame on them for, <laughs> shame on them uh, for, for not paying attention to uh, uh, the premiums on the stuff that you're buying, or at least, Having a dealer, <laughs> I shouldn't say that, that is not trying to talk you out of it and uh, put more silver in your pocket as opposed to ridiculous premiums. All right, I'm getting out of there. What's the best deal uh, in gold right now? Gold bars by far. Uh, it looks like uh, gold eagle prices have dropped off a little bit, but you know, one ounce gold bars, let me type in one ounce gold bars. Uh, let's see here. And there you go, one ounce gold bars. Uh, Valcombi's is primarily what we carry. It's a great uh, Swiss made bar, but you know, any of the big, good, reputable companies out there make bars, uh, I, I'd recommend. I, I don't have a preference on any of them. They're all good companies. Uh, they're gonna be like still spot plus 74 bucks or less on gold bars. You can't beat that price compared to uh, Gold Eagles at, uh, uh, again, they've come down a little bit. Let's see, we're Gold Eagles right now. They're gonna be, uh, um, 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 uh, it looks like uh, 220 or less, spot plus 220 or less. I think you can get delayed delivery on Eagles for less than 200 right now, delayed. Uh, listen folks, everyone across the board out there is short on products in the retail and the wholesale markets. It's not greedy dealers driving up the price of silver and gold. It's not anything else other than a crooked, broken marketplace in the CME group, the COMEX group, that has completely screwed up the price discovery for gold and silver markets, uh, and which is going to bite them in the ass very badly, uh, especially in silver, when supply and man, uh, uh, the dog, finally takes control of the tail, which is the CME group's derivatives bullshit, all right? All right, that's it. I'm gonna call it quits on that and go into uh, yesterday's video. And premiums jumping around again. God, that's gonna be one of my shortest videos, 16 minutes. And it wasn't awful either. <laughs> uh, when you, you know, sometimes when I do these super short videos, it's because I'm tired and just pooped out and not much to say. Uh, but la not so much last night. I kind of pumped it out a little bit, just talking about premiums and, and uh, uh, them jumping around, kind of like we do every day. That's the one thing I do very well is I know premiums on this stuff. Um, <clears throat> all right, let me answer some questions here. Close your eyes because I get dizzy when I scroll down fast too. There you go. Michael, what's up? By the way, this is an evening report, so a red wine from Trader Joe's. I like Trader Joe wines. Not bad. You know, for, for inexpensive wines, Trader Joe has some, uh, uh, their brands are not too bad. Uh, anyway, cheers to everyone out there. A toast to all you stackers. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> a toast to being able to buy gold, silver, and platinum at bargain basement prices, folks. You got to look at it that way. Ready? To you. Hmm. All right. Michael, John Gordon, lend me $10 billion so I can go long and demand delivery. <laughs> that would certainly screw him. That's for sure, John. You did nail that. Let me blow this up a little bit so I can read that a little bit better. Um, oh, God, breaking a vault with a tank. That's, that's one way to get in a vault. Oh, gosh, what did I do? Demolition Ranch. I like that guy. He's pretty funny. All right, sorry. Uh, Welco, uh, what's up? Icarus Air says great prices, says the dealer. Um, oh, gosh, I think I replied to that this morning. I was a little bit grumpy. <laughs> I guess I, I forgot. I was a little grumpy when I responded to that. Uh, what am I supposed to do, lie? Please, spare me the greedy dealer bullshit. Hope your day is well anyway. And I still mean I hope your day is well. Sorry about that. It came out a little bit on the rough side, but... Uh, yeah, they are great prices, man. And again, what do you want me to do? Lie and say they're terrible prices? Sorry, Vicarious Air, um, that you felt that way, but no less. Uh, sorry that I answered a little bit roughly. <laughs> but you, you got to know me by now. <clears throat> Anyways, Michael, what's up? Sellers should be careful. Premiums get too high. Sales will plummet. I don't think so, no. Um, I think what's happening, well, yeah, I'm price conscious when it comes to premiums, but, uh, um, you know, what are you gonna do when, when the price of silver and gold are broken, all right? And you just can't buy, and the supply and demand is, 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 is 
uh, uh, taken over where there's there's big demand but very little supply out there. Uh, and again, your, your, your price discovery marketplace, the Crimex markets, is broken and crooked. You know, th all, all that can happen is that premiums will get higher and the stuff will get harder and harder to find. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. Perhaps we're going to see a separation uh, of uh, real markets from paper markets here. And that's really what you're seeing on the uh, cheaper end. I'd be curious to see what 1,000 ounce bars are trading for right now, what kind of premium. I would bet they're up as well. All right. Thanks, Michael. Appreciate your comments. L. Shep says, try to visit your site, but again, error. Uh, oh, yeah, I sent you a message there. Uh, we do block our website to outside, certain outside countries just because of the amount of spam and hacking that we had going on. Uh, so definitely get in touch with us and let us know if you're using a VPN or uh, and or, uh, <clears throat> and or uh, uh, outside the country there and not able to visit our site. Uh, Thomas, uh, I was actually thinking of grabbing two rounds, but looking at the cheap premiums, yeah, they're over. Crap, man, Thomas, I saw some premiums as high as five bucks by the big 800 pound gorillas out there. And I will beat their prices as long as I got one ounces in stock, I will beat their prices, but they're getting tougher and tougher to replace. Uh, all Pro says gold bars are lower due to most people not wanting them. Not, at, not true at all, sir. Uh, and I think I mentioned that this morning. I, boy, I didn't throw out any WTF, so. <laughs> gold is gold and any local coin store worth of salt knows this as well. People that do not understand gold bullion Request eagles, maples in this environment because they lack the knowledge to make a smart buy. Once explained, many will make the switch. Thanks for commenting, All Pro, and I sincerely mean that. I appreciate your comments, but uh, uh, that that comment right there I made this morning without uh, any uh, uh, bad language <laughs> is uh, uh, spot on there. And again, thanks for commenting. Is silver really running low everywhere? Absolutely, it sure is in the wholesale and the retail markets. Again, I've got to go look and see what 1,000-ounce bars are trading for. When you start to see the 1,000-ounce uh, silver bars trading at a, a much bigger premium, you know that shit's happening out there, that the shit's going on. Uh, but uh, the 1,000-ounce premium uh, uh, have gone up substantially. They were, uh, I think about a, two months ago, I was talking about 1,000-ounce premiums, and they were 60 cents higher than they have in the past uh, per ounce, which is significant uh, for a 1,000-ounce bar. Uh, but anyway, thanks for uh, uh, watching. Appreciate your comment there. Uh, Yam here. Uh, X Marine, hope I pronounced that right. X Marine 268 premiums go up and dealers should buy his premiums. Well, it's not right to go offer under spot to buy it and then sell jacked up premiums. Um, you know what? Every dealer is different out there. All the spreads are different. Even sometimes, the, you know, I got to tell you, even the wholesale market spreads get a little bit crazy, especially in silver. There is nothing not crazy in silver right now, uh, X Marine. Uh, silver premiums are just insane on the buy and the sell side. You know, you, you, nobody's sure what's coming in, when it's coming in, when I'm going to get it. How, you know, I got to be competitive with the other guys uh, in order to sell my stuff. So there's so much stuff going on here. You know, and the other thing too to remember is, say for example that uh, I've loaded up on uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of ounces of one ounce bars, all right, in my, my local coin store. And uh, I don't need them anymore. Uh, because I've currently got a big batch I just got in. My spread is going to be a lot wider. I'm not going to pay as much as over the counter as I normally would because I'm filled on my order until I start to run out. I'm not going to decrease my sell price. I'm still going to be competitive with the other dealers out there, but, but I'm not going to order, I'm not going to pay up more money when I am pretty much stocked at a certain point. Once I'm out of stock and I can't find anything, that's the best time to catch your local dealer when he has no silver in stock. That's when he's most likely to pay up the highest premium of all. Uh, but there's a lot of factors involved with that. It's not, it's not just, oh, another greedy dealer story. You know, and they're out there. Greedy dealers are out there. Greedy people are out there in every industry. Uh, but for the most part, it really is supply and demand. Thanks, X Marine. Appreciate that. If another billionaire wants silver eagles with premiums go even higher, I think they already are. I think, you know, I'm wondering what's caused the uh, silver eagle premiums to go up as high as they are. My first thought is the uh, uh, same billionaire that bought them last time and, and created those ridiculous premiums is doing it again. I don't think they learned the first time that th what they're doing is stupid, you know? Honestly, I believe that. I don't see any, you know, I could be wrong. I would love to have somebody call me or somebody in the know say, Brian, you're wrong on this. Uh, but so far, no one's been able to do that, all right? Uh, the best I've heard is that this is what the customer wanted, this is what they were advised, and this is what we gave them, all right? That's the best uh, reason I heard, and I think actually, quite frankly, this gentleman down here, Andy Sheckman, said that that's the best, you know, that's what they wanted, that's what we gave them. That's the best excuse I've heard, all right? But uh, no less, it's just ridiculous. You're not doing your customers any favor, especially a billionaire in that kind of quantities by putting them into overpriced Silver Eagles. Period, period, 90% too. 
All right. Um, <clears throat> by the way, if you got silver eagles, definitely trade them babies. Trade them in for uh, kilo bars and other things. Get rid of them. Get, take that premium and buy yourself more silver. If you sold 100 uh, uh, silver eagles, you'd probably get around uh, uh, an extra thousand bucks, which you could go and buy what? Another kilo of silver. So for the same price that you'd pay for silver eagles, you could buy over a kilo. Uh, you could buy, for the same price that you'd buy 100 ounces of silver eagles for, you could get 100, uh, uh, oh, hang on a second, let's see. You could get 100, about 140, 150 ounces of silver in, in, in generic form instead of uh, 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 that premium. So again, you could almost trade 100 ounces of silver eagles and get and, and come out with 130 to 150 ounces of other form of silver. Really, what would you rather have? 130 or 150 ounces of silver or 100 ounces of silver eagles when the price of silver starts going up dramatically and nobody wants to buy them for big premiums anymore? Seriously, what would you rather have? All right, Joe, what's up? Uh, Rainbow, appreciate that comment as well. Uh, Brian, it's the only reason I started working with him to get silver for breast <laughs> Good. Hey, I love you all too. All my viewers out there, viewers, not your, I guess I shouldn't say viewers, not much of you here, but uh, uh, all my listeners and uh, I guess listeners and viewers, thank you very much. And hey, if you're new to my videos, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate that. Uh, Tim Warren says, in my part of Kentucky, one shop is limited customers to 100 ounce per week. Uh, week. Um, wow, wow. You know what, Tim, tell your uh, uh, dealer to give me a call, and I don't mean that to be smart or I'm anything better or I can do a better job, but I might be able to hook your, uh, your uh, local dealer up with a good source of uh, silver that, so he can sell more than 100 pound ounces a week. I got a couple good sources right now. Uh, thanks for commenting, Tim. Appreciate that. Silver Liner says, I was beginning to wonder if you're going to make a video tonight. <laughs> yeah, I wonder that every day. Uh, I want to go back and give this lady some more money after the deal. Oh, yeah, you got a great deal there, man. Holy crap, you did a really nice deal. Good on you, Silver Liner. Uh, and thanks for commenting. I really appreciate that. Oh, boy. Let's see here. I'd like to thank all the Wall Street Silver guys out there, all you stackers, you Silver Apes. Um, uh, uh, for what you do out there. Keep taking that silver off these markets at these stupid, ridiculously low prices. Uh, and again, try to stick to the low premium stuff. That's the best advice I can give you from a guy that's been doing this for decades. Um, <clears throat> and I'd like to thank the Wall Street Silver uh, uh, Forum administrators for allowing me to post my videos on Wall Street Silver on a daily basis too. Uh, thanks guys, appreciate that. And uh, uh, also, uh, we're on this particular channel right now, so for, so for all you folks watching my ch uh, uh, videos on this channel right here, thank you as well. Appreciate it, and we're going to continue to keep putting uh, our videos out there. Uh, let me see. Let me make sure my video guy, Marcelo, yes, he has. He's been updating this like clockwork. So we are out there. Uh, all our videos are going to start going out here as well, and on other forums. Oh, crap, I forgot to tell you. You can catch me on... Uh, 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 I know some of you hate Twitter, but you can catch me out there now on Twitter. And let me see, where am I on Twitter? There I am, right there. And what is my uh, here? There's my profile, uh, Brian Kuzmar, B R I A N K U S Z M A R. I'm going to start posting some of my videos out here as well, and uh, talking to some more of you folks on a one-on-one -on -one basis uh, too on Twitter. Uh, again, love it, hate it, whatever. I'm not a big fan of any of these uh, uh, social media forums, uh, but it is a good way to communicate why you can until they cut you off. <laughs> All right, so anyway, that's really it, folks. Uh, this is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Audio by the Sea, uh, asking you to think for yourself and question authority. Most of all, question what you know first. Um, and, uh, 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 you know, because sometimes what you learn as a small child, what you learn in life is given to you by others, even people, you know, people with good intentions, but it may not always be true. So the first thing to do in your life is question yourself. It becomes so much easier to question others and question authority afterwards. Hey, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great evening. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial uh, or ConciergeBullion.com. If you're buying more than 100 ounces of gold or more than 2,500 ounces of silver and you live anywhere in the continental U.S., Call us at concierboyan.com, or you can, uh, or, or you can call us, 954-302-2046. <laughs> uh, we do have a contact form here. You can reach us too. But hey, please give us a call between 10 and 4 Mondays through Fridays. Happy to help you out with your order. Uh, and uh, concierboyan.com uh, is a different service than my other brick and mortar, which is commercial rare coins and precious metals, which is again traditional brick and mortar store here in South Florida since 1995. In this location, I've been doing this since 1977. Second generation 
generation dealer in rare coins and precious metals. Uh, and we're open 10 to 4, Monday through Friday. So if you're buying anywhere from a dollar's worth of silver or gold to millions of dollars worth, come and see us. We'll beat the locals. We'll also beat Atmex, SD, and J and Bullion, as well as ConcierbeBullion.com will. Uh, but remember, ConcierbeBullion.com is a, uh, a service that we can ship uh, to people doing in larger quantities. Well, that's it, folks. Have yourself a wonderful evening. And uh, hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.